and as the story as the story goes on it's a it's off that Ford eight in tractor I got out there tractor wouldn't run so I think it's an electrical problem but my first instinct was the float needle valve being stuck so you know first thing you do is jerk the carburetor apart first time on this one I think it's one of them aftermarket carburetors probably would have had that marble shibbler right there I had that over on the shelf I was just going to show it to you you know what I mean kind of show and tell or something it's a number 15 on that there plate right there this one don't have a number on it and I think this is a new old stock basically you can never tell it was ever on an engine I had it on the shelf over in a box on the move, but but the but the choke plate's gone out of it. Somebody robbed that out of there. So, but other than that, it looks great. It's got some soot in there, like it's been on something and it started. But you know, there's there, it's 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 as good as they get. I'm not going to put it on this tractor because there's nothing wrong with this, except when I took it apart there. It was clean inside, some kind of pot metal stuff, I'm sure. I'll put a little gasola on that right there, top and bottom. Oh, I probably should cut a new one of them. But ironic, it made me smile, you know. <clears throat> I'd be appreciative if, if, for that, at least. Um, life as it is. Ironic that I would uh, come up on the same problem. Uh, bad gasket, you know. I think this one's from the factory. I'll cut a new one there and set this right. You know, it goes right there. Yeah, that's, that was the problem right there. Um, wouldn't get no vacuum. So, yeah, I think we can do that. We'll cut that out. Yeah, that's good. That's good.
There we're good to go now. Yeah, we got that trimmed around there and all. Now we'll put that piece of plastic, that's that bin interior right there. I know I forgot something right there. I'll have to cut that out right up there. That's the old one.
Oh yeah, I think we'll be all right right there. Let's put that on that tractor. Put that car back together first. Might as well to put the thing back together, I guess. Put a little of that gas oil on there. You know, you can't go wrong with that gas oil. I'm just saying, not much, very little. Restrain is the, is the key here. But we're going to put this venter in this. And it goes like that right there. It's, it's too big on both ends, see. But this is this was the top. It has a different contour than that does down there. So that goes up in the end. You know, it is asset pretty much required required that. All them hose lines up right there and them do. A little better than I thought maybe. But quite good. I don't think, if this engine don't run, it won't be the gasket's fault. And the needle valve still looks like new. Uh, the seat also uh, looks like new. No, no problem can be seen. And the floats are... They don't have nothing in them. And that's all it was in there. This pin helped all that together. The Ford 8 in is what the tractor is. And <clears throat> um, that's pretty much all they are to it. But if you turn that over, you, you can actually tell if your needle valve is working. And that does goes up and down, up and down. And I'm not going to fool with that float setting because I think it was right from the factory. You know, I don't think this carburetor's ever been apart. Very clean. And everything snapped together, uh, the venturi and all. You know, you know, if you're if you're gentle with it. I hope I was in camera range right there, but if I wasn't, if you just be general when you put them two together, they'll fall together uh, with this with this needle valve out. But I'm just holding it together now, and th th this is where you know if you've done a real good job. If you can get all four of them screws in there, I should put a little oil on them screws right there, you know. Just out of general habit. No, uh, no, no more than a, no, no more than a gentle drop. Uh, you know, kind of on the threads there, I think. Kind of help, kind of help on that oxidation. Oh, that's one of them Phillips screwdrivers there. Okay, that one fitted.
Okay, yeah, I'm faded. Okay, that one faded. And the other one right down in there, which is the one that's got that spring in the way on account of your screwdriver angle. Sometimes it's hard to get out. But in this case, uh, with the, the gasket lined up and everything, I am going to get a different kind of screwdriver to tighten. No, I think it's all right. <clears throat> It's pretty tight, but I am going to get a different screwdriver. This is not as big on the shank right there as this and this, so I can get a straighter angle on that. But just snug this stuff up, and then I'll take a blade, run around there, and cut that gasket, you know, to fit. Make it look pretty. I'm going to get another screwdriver. That right there. That's one of them de-rusted screwdrivers right there. I'm sure it is. Just going by the color. It don't have no logo or nothing on it, but I'd say that's a de-ruster. I'm pretty sure. Could be Casey Neostat, but I'm going to use it anyway. Mm, it's pretty tight. Okay, this is one where, the, where you kind of... Let's see what... The, mm, that's pretty good. It's real good. I'll be honest with you. I didn't think I could do that good right there. So for if the tractor runs, you know, but I'll be more, I'll be real proud of me. But yeah, let's run a let's run a blade around through there, and uh, uh, trim that gasket off. Then a little lacquer thinner on a cloth to run around through there like that right there and clean that thing up. You know, you know what I mean? As you go, you get that you get that gasket stuff off there, and, and you get any residue oil or, or uh, grease build up from years past. Or leaving leaving some patina if you want to. <laughs> I'm talking about the parts you can't get to. You know, most time you call that patina. You know that stuff down in yonder. I think if you look that up on the computer, it's uh, that's patina. So, and there's what we got. It's got a part number on it right there. It's all it's got on it. I'm gonna say it's made some foreign country, but uh, and there's this thing right here. I should put a little oil on that. 
uh, goes right down in there. Yeah, you know, I, I, uh, I would suggest you blow blow it out with the air hose. I didn't listen, but it didn't need it. But but what they say is you close that down to uh, to it seated, and it just did. And then you open it up from like from one to one and a quarter turn. So you just you just get your place on your on the cross piece right there, some kind of mark that you'd recognize. I'm just going to shine that up a little bit that I can see. So one turn would be, when that when it leaves that seat, it has to come all the way back around and be where it's at now to be a turn. I'll show you this. Come right on, come right on around through there, you know, that's a half turn, and, and come all the way right around there. Okay, write that down in that blank page on, blank page on in your book right there. Write that down. That's a turn. And uh, let's say I turn the quarter. I'm going to go for that. So now we know that. You, you know, just kind of remember it. And the other one, right down in there, you have to have a flat screwdriver for that. It's a turn and a quarter and a turn. You know, whatever amount of... <clears throat> but I'm, I, haven't I haven't fooled with that, with that setting there. So I'm going to go ahead and close it and see what the reading is. So... Well, basically, it's no more. That was no more than a quarter of a turn. So I'm gonna take it out. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look at that. Hmm. See, that's the first time I had that out, and I didn't put that back together, but. Oh, I think it'll be all right, for sure. You know, I was just thinking, if you ain't out there in the shop, you ought to be watching somebody out there in the shop. You know, I guess that's the reason people record this stuff. I'm going to hit that on the war wheel over there. supposed to see but I think it looks okay if I'm looking at what I think I should be looking at and, and I'm gonna set this in on a turn you, you know what I mean because I think you're supposed to adjust them after the tractor starts up and runs so I'm gonna seat this and down kind of lightly to the seat Okay, which would be right there. And then I'm going to open it up a turn. It was only about a quarter of a turn. So, uh, well, I'm not sure about that. But at least I'll know to adjust it how much. Because you can get to that pretty easy. So, because right, right there, that's a turn. So, well, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Okay, that's a turn. That's a turn and a quarter. So but we can we can adjust for it later. Let's put it back on the tractor. I'm gonna put a little of that there. Uh, I'm gonna put a little of this. Uh, oh, that's some good stuff right there. Okay, so. Uh, Actually, 
of all that gas over right there upon that top flange gasket. And I was supposed to put it on there. Uh, not too much. Just, just uh, you know, be, uh, very little bit of this goes a long way. Be honest about it. And any more than that's too much. You know what I mean? If you've been around through there with your finger, it's, that's probably enough. I'll get that air pipe on there. We'll get this thing started up. Got a gas leak right there. I'll have to put that. Well.